Let's read some gaming news, shall we? Sony forcing Bungie to get their heads out of their buttholes and run Destiny 2 like a business is very much a good thing, Studio X lawyer says. Apparently Sony's um, really coming hard after Bungie right now. I mean, I'm not sure what the what the contract is on that whole deal, but they have a big footprint in Bungie. Let's let's read this. I, I got my own thoughts on Bungie or, and Bungie and, and Destiny right now, but we'll, we'll, we'll do that at the end. A former Bungie lawyer has commented on upcoming improvements to embattled live service looter shooter Destiny 2, saying the role of parent company Sony in forcing through these changes is very much a good thing. Good thing. Last week, Bungie unveiled what it called major changes to Destiny 2 that it hopes will win back players. We'll look at that in a second. Bungie has reported struggling to meet key financial targets with Destiny 2 significantly underperforming last year. I want people that, that bought the game to have a good experience. I want them to come through on all this. I want I want Sony and Bungie to make sure that their players are taken care of. But I don't, I don't, there, I have no faith in that whatsoever. Here are those major changes. It's from September 9th, 2024. This is still from IGN. Where's the fucking, where's the, what? Well, this is nothing. This is a giant nothing burger, it looks like. Live service first person shooter currently seeing its lowest concurrent player count on, St on Steam. Bungie will adopt a new model moving forward that includes the release of two medium sized expansions and four major free content update annual Bungie set. No one gives a shit at this point. So Evolution aims to enhance the player experience. <laughs> I keep saying that every time. We're going to enhance the player experience this time, this time for real. A new multi year saga introducing non linear story. What are they going to add more stunning and brave characters to the roster? Girl bosses? And LGBTQ YMCA New Game Plus Plus characters. Let's hope. Keep our fingers crossed, boys. New locations, missions, weapon, gears, raids, and dungeons. Well, we all know that the dungeons are probably going to be paywalled, like they did with the other ones. Be like, you can buy the expansion, but you have to buy the extra special expansion to get the dungeon, which was a fucking stupid call. The prettiest looking weapons and gear and stuff are always, always going to be in the cash shop. That's that's the way it goes. They're not going to give any good things to the players that buy the expansion. That's all going to be turtle food and the rest is going to be in the goddamn cash shop. Word salad here is just window dressing. They want you in the damn cash shop. I'm not saying you can't have some good stuff in the cash shop. If that's really what you need, you need your game to go free to fucking play because you can't survive otherwise, then fine. You have to put some bundles in there. But after the bundles have expired and like they're gone long enough, just put them in the game. The fear of missing out is over at that point. They're just working on Marathon. Most of their team has gone to work on this Marathon thing, which actually is kind of funny. That was the name of one of their first games back in the mid 90s. If you look up Bungie or at least the people that started Bungie, it wasn't called Bungie in the 90s, I guess, but they had a game called Marathon and Marathon Infinity. Maybe I'm wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. Tell me what you think down, down below and we'll continue on with the video here. The Final Shape expansion reportedly sold less at launch than last year's critically panned Lightfall. Yeah, Lightfall was really bad. The most annoying characters known to man, even more than the stupid Fallen that they had. Never mind, let's, let's keep reading. So anyways, they're gonna try to win players back, it looks like, and well, Sony knows how to win players back, don't you know? Let's see, what's that one thing that the players have been asking for in Destiny 2 for the last seven fucking years? There's been at least six years. Let's see, oh yeah, strike specific loot, holy shit. Have we got that yet? Did we get that yet? No, we, we didn't get that yet. Because they just don't know what the fuck to do with this game. And then they had the factions too. Did they do anything with the factions? Guys, did they do anything with the factions? No, they still haven't done anything with the factions yet, really? Wow, that's amazing. There ain't nothing with the factions, really. No strike specific loot, like they had in D1. They have enough stuff, but all their good stuff was was locked up into the into the microtransactions. They're, they're, this game is one of the most predatory games on the market right now. Now, I understand that they went free to play and a lot of players disagreed with that especially i did at the time did it save the game i don't know no they just wanted to make more money destiny 2 just kind of shit the bed they took everything that was good from destiny 1 and said well, we're just gonna do it completely different and then they did it completely different it didn't work out so well i mean the cash shop has always been a thing for destiny 2 they slow rolled it in at first it wasn't as big of a thing in the beginning of destiny 2's life but i know because i played a ton of destiny 2 from 2017 to about the summer of 2020 and then i stopped and then it was just trickle i trickled a little bit here and there but really i haven't played much in the last four years at all because i can't stand the game now i can't stand the story i can't stand the cartoonish disney villain that they picked to to play the end the end guy for this expansion the, the witness what is <laughs> and i just i laughed so fucking hard when i saw him the only thing he's witnessing is people not playing his fucking game that's that's what he's witnessing there's no value in playing the game and, and doing the strikes and stuff there's there's nothing there at least in destiny one there was a reason you wanted the starlight or whatever you know, scout rifle or whatever it was. I can't remember. 
you had to play the the the, the cabal the cabal strike. I think it was called Starlight. I can't remember. I mean, they made they made my favorite character Saint Fourteen as queer as the day is long. So it didn't even didn't even need to be a romance fucking story. But that's in the lore now. So him and Osiris are they're they're fucking slamming hams, which is fine if that's what you like. But it's like I don't <laughs> what people say. Well, yeah, well she actually likes the fucking queen whatever her name is queen dingaling no it's such a romance story and it's like no that's 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 made for laughs he's a helpless romantic i don't care where people it's so important for these people to tell you exactly where where people's peenies and bajinis are going and what they like in them and on them and around them don't don't hold your breath thinking that destiny 2 is making a comeback because i don't think it is Oof. i mean zavala used to be all right but they turned him into a fucking joke and now that guy's dead but lance riddick you can't make any more voices for that. I mean, they'll probably just AI his voice. Let's just call it Destiny Mobile. And they have the same monetary fucking policy that a mobile game would have. It's give and take around here. You give it to me and we'll take it. Is it a smooth shooter? Yeah, it's smooth. Is is it, was it likable at one point? I think it was. It had some charm to it. I have no desire to play Destiny 2 ever again. I've sunk way too much time into that bullshit and mess pile. Until we meet again.